Well, Scott Sussman, welcome you live from Sacramento, California, December 18th, 2016, 6.50 in the morning. Perfect day to talk about sales. And we're talking about how you could build rapport in the sales process or just in general talking to people. And we're on R for recreation. Now, people love to go out and have fun. There's plenty of things that people can do, but I want to give you this one challenge up front. You can't make stuff up, right? So when people are uh, avid Fishermen, you can't make up things about fishing. Now, I'm gonna I bring up this subject for a reason because I gotta let you know, I'm gonna share with you. I know nothing about fishing. I know that it can take up an entire day. I know that guys like to go out on boats, girls too, right? But growing up as a kid, my dad took me and I always wanted to go fishing. Said, dad, let's go fishing, dad, let's go fishing. So I'm like seven years old. My dad takes me to Folsom Lake. It's like 10 miles from here. And he goes, Scott, this is how you fish. So he ties a weight to the end of the line, casts it out, throws it in the, in the lake. And uh, then he's like, all right, let's go eat. I'm like, dad, what about the fish? He goes, ah, fish and stupid. So for me, I grew up in a family where my, my dad didn't want to fish and my friends didn't fish. So it's like, I can't go with somebody and talk to them about fishing because there's like some concepts I understand. Like I know what a lure is and I know what a reel is and I know what the rod is, but that's about as far as it goes. So if I were to make stuff up, whoever the, 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 the expert is or the person who's into that subject, they're gonna know if I'm making it up. But here's the thing, I can ask a bunch of questions. I can ask. You know, what do you like about it? Where's the best place to go? You know, can you let me in on some of your secrets? But you have to be genuinely interested. I see salespeople do this a lot where they're asking questions for the sake of asking questions and it creates a lot of challenges because that person's like, you're not being genuine. You're just trying to sell me something. And I know that you're faking this conversation so that you can get to the end so you can ask me for money. Why don't we just shortcut this whole process? And this is one of the reasons why you get people who are impatient with you sometimes is because you're building too much rapport. You're asking these questions and you're pushing them on buttons and you're not getting to the subject. You're not getting to the business and it's creating a challenge for you. So there's a lot of things you can talk about with recreation. You can ask them where they like to go, what they like to do, you know, if, they, if it's fun. But once again, you have to realize that the social norms and the social boundaries are one of the areas that you want to stick with. And if the person doesn't want to answer the questions, leave it alone, okay? Because like there's some subjects that people just are polarized about, they butt heads, and it's just not good. So you could look around, you know, if they got stuff on the wall, you can ask about it. But the other danger is if you like to do this stuff too, you could be the topper, okay? So if I see people have stuff about Hawaii, <laughs> I could talk about Hawaii all day long, but there's a danger for me because I've been over 60 times, right? I could, they could say like, yeah, I went to Hawaii once or twice. I can overpower them and go, oh yeah? Well, I went 60 times, right? Because then it's not, it's like a competition at that point and we're button heads. It can create some challenges for you. So your job is to not be the guy or the girl who, who is the competition in the conversation because it'll create a lot of challenges, right? So there you go. Talk about what they like to do for fun, but Stay within the social norms and do not top them. <laughs> do not be like, hey, look, mine's way better than yours. Oh, you got that jet ski? Mine's bigger. Oh, you got that boat? Mine's better. Oh, you got that car? Mine's faster, right? Don't want to do that. Or, or <laughs> you could get up in the, well, do you know this guy? Do you know that girl? Do you know this guy? Do you know that girl? Because it pulls away from the conversation. Instead of the spotlight being on them, it becomes all about their friends and all about the people that they know, and that can create a challenge, okay? So R, recreation. There you go. Now, if you could do a small favor for me in the box down below, leave a comment, question, or story, that would be fantastic. To the right, to the left, somewhere in here, somewhere in here. There's a subscribe button. You know what you got to do. You got to subscribe. And then last of all, you can send it out to all your friends via StumbleUpon, Facebook, Twitter, Google+. Why not even LinkedIn? Scott Bell. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Aloha.